My name's Eunice and I hail from Papua New Guinea and I've been living in Australia for 35 years now. But while I was in New Guinea, I met this wonderful man, Peter, and we have three children and nine grandchildren. I was very active in the church and I realised after three years that I needed more to life than what I was going through. I was called to do a literature ministry, which means that I went from door to door selling Christian literature. Then I felt a calling to the households of faith. What I mean by households of faith is that we are doing church in the home. In our discovery Bible readings, our group found that we were able to have open and honest discussions, ask questions, and try to find the answers from what we were reading. And you didn't have to have a Bible knowledge or spend so many years in the church in order to participate in a discussion. I didn't go to church. Yeah, it wasn't something that was really part of my lifestyle. My background is Catholic and then decided to leave the church when I left home and more or less have said no to all religion. Up until I met up with Eunice she was telling me about the, her household of faith that she was holding at her home. I brought John along with me and it was very different to what I expected. And I felt very comfortable in her home and the way that they conducted it, it was nice. There's a lot of teaching and learning within the stories and the morals. That's what I'm interested in. There's got a lot of good learning there. I started looking for God a few years ago. I was searching everywhere for the right church. I found Seventh-day Adventist Church, and then I reached out to Eunice, and then she invited me to the home group church. Yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs> amazing for my spiritual growth. Rochelle is my niece. She's very responsible, very reliable, and has a real deep passion for the Word of God. House Elves of Faith to me at first was a really awesome idea. I wanted to have connection with people. Yeah, getting deep into the Word, but I also wanted to be able to make friends and make really feel like I was part of a family. Doing life on your own is too hard today, but doing life with a group who supports you and who prays for you is just wonderful. It's worth anything. It's worth all the hard work. It's worth all the preparation. It's worth every bit of effort that I put into it. I'm really looking forward to that time when I can open my home up to others because I want to be able to see the change in how <laughs> I want to be a witness to see how Jesus changes people's lives. He's done for me.